Y'all need to clean my glasses. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here, girl. My eyes are open. <laughs> my eyes are open. We down here. Um, I got everything together, girl. I wanted to come down here to talk about May. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the diva know you stop by, girl. We down here, girl, 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 girl. You know I have to get my girl together, girl. You know Meg is my girl. She's the queen of rap. I know I ruffled some feathers right now. That's my girl. Leave Megan and Stallion alone. So a lawsuit came out for sexual harassment and unpaid wages. Hold on. Let me get that. First things first, let me get that. It to Dutch. I can listen to this over and over. When I tell you, I can listen to this over and over and over and over again. Anyways, y'all. So I came down here to talk about Meg. We're going to go to a new source. I'm not going to go to the blogs for this one. Oh, my girl, Meg. I was, I was already people in the comments talking about, and y'all, but and, and y'all don't believe Tori. What does that have anything to do with anything? I need to clean my glasses before I start reading. Hold on. Where's my stuff to clean my glasses? There it is. I need to order some new glasses. I, I just got my new prescription. It just slightly changed, Sli a slight change. And so um, I want some red frames, baby. I wanted some red frames. I would have had them on today if I had my red frames. I want some red frames. <sighs> so this is my thing. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what my opinion is off the bat before we get into the article about Megan the Stallion being sued for unpaid wages and for sexual harassment. Um, I guess unpaid wages isn't salacious enough. So you have to say, I mean, you're the videographer. He was hired as a videographer, right? To just watch, to just videotape everything. That's why every everything be on tape. That's why everything be on tape. That's how what's his name got all his stuff, got all his footages. Um, the 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 producer that's suing Puffy, he was a videographer, <laughs> capturing everything. Yeah, so you got to be careful. Um, Megan was having sex in front of him. And that's it. That is harassment. But from based on what the record, the the um complaint says, she didn't know he was in the car when um when she was having sex now if you were in having sex in front of somebody and made them sit there and watch you that's i mean we already know that's we're not playing those games at all but if you were in the car and she was dr drunk she could have been drunk knowing meg drunk enough just and then just started getting busy and then the next day was like, was you in the car last night? Baby, bitch, you better not say a goddamn word about the shit you saw in that damn car last night, girl. Because we was doing the fucking most, girl. I can see all of that happening. I can see all of it happening. I can see all of it. I'm not, I, I'm, uh, you know how, yeah, girl, you know, because sometimes you can get caught. Caught up. You don't realize what the, I need. Hold on. I need a, I need a microfiber because this, this ain't working. Hold on. All right. I have a micro. I have to get a microfiber because that damn thing was not working. When I tell you, they were so greasy. I was like, what, who, what was going on? Oh, I can see clearly now. Girl, you know, the last time I sang that song on this thing, I got a copyright strike. <laughs> Go back and listen to that video. I had to cut it out. Girl, sure did. Because I played it for, I, th I think I played it over the allotted amount of time. You can only play songs for seven seconds or less down here to the um, YouTube. Otherwise, you'll get a copyright strike. This is from NBC News. Megan Thee Stallion accused of harassment by cameraman who said he was forced to watch her have sex. Emilio Garcia filed a lawsuit alleging he was trapped inside a moving vehicle with a hip-hop star in a foreign country while she had sex with a woman. Uh, this was um, yesterday. Los Angeles, a former cameraman for Megan Thee Stallion who alleges that he was trapped inside a moving vehicle while, with a hip-hop star in a foreign country while she had sex with a woman, has filed a lawsuit accusing the entertainment of, entertainer of harassment and a hostile work environment. 
Emilio Garcia said in the suit filed Tuesday in Los Angeles County Superior Court that after the alleged incident, he was warned, don't ever discuss what you saw and berated, fat shamed, and treated differently by Megan. The harassment was so severe and pervasive that it created a hostile, abusive work environment that made Garcia's work conditions intolerable, the suit said. This is an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim and with salacious accusations to attempt to embarrass her. We will deal with this in court. An attorney for Megan the Stallion, Alex Spiro, said on Tuesday. They said Alex Spiro is connected to Jay-Z. Shout out to Mushroom Coffee. Y'all got your Mushroom Coffee? Mm. Which is so good. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. Representative for Rock Nations did not respond to requests for comment. Garcia began working for Megan Thee Stallion, whose real name is Megan Pete, as a personal cameraman in 2018. Quit his job in 2019 to pursue the gig with Grammy winner full time and worked for her until 2023 in June. Garcia said that in the suit that he traveled with Megan to Ibiza, Ibiza, Spain, in june 2022 and that while in an suv with megan and three other women after a night out megan and one of the women began to have sex next to him in the car i felt uncomfortable i was kind of frozen and i was shocked at i was shocked at kind of what and kind of just be overall what i i, I felt uncomfortable i was kind of frozen and i was shocked at kind of just be the overall audacity to do this right, right beside me, Garcia told NBC News in an interview. The following day, the rapper said, asked Garcia whether he was in the car with him the night before and that he confirmed he was. Megan told him, don't ever discuss what you saw. Garcia said in the suit that during the same trip, Megan hurled fat shaming insults at him, calling him a fat bitch and telling him to spit your food out. You don't need to be eating. To hear someone who advocates about loving your body tells me these things. Um, I felt degraded. When they returned from the trip, Garcia said in the lawsuit, his compensation structure changed from a monthly flat rate to a pay per task system that required him to submit invoices for each assignment. First of all, Megan the Stallion. If you're going to hire um, a cameraman, he should probably sign an NDA. That's one. Two, um, he should probably be made aware of your lifestyle prior to and ask if you feel uncomfortable because at any moment I could bust out and start having sex with somebody. Yes, it sounds crazy, but this is my lifestyle. Are you prepared for that? Like, I feel like that kind of conversation needs to happen because not only are you in the music industry, you're in the hip hop music industry. And I mean, it goes for all genres. It can get crazy in all genres, to be honest, because I just popped in my head country, rock. When you hear about the stories of the cameramen and, and people, you know, videotaping and being around, I mean, it doesn't, it's not, um, it's not church. It's not Sunday school. It's not even church on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the choir rehearsal. It's not, <laughs> it's none of that. So there are some things that probably will go outside, like your morals, like what kind of morals do you have? I, this is like, this is where that kind of stuff you're going to have to like decide on. Do I have, can, can I be in this environment? Will the, my principles and morals allow me to be next to someone while they just bust out having sex? Am I okay with that? Will I be okay with that if that happens? You have to keep in mind the environment that you're in. Now, now I'm not saying that if she was like, hey, you know, you need to watch this, you need to record this. No, he could set the camera, set the camera up for us because we about to get busy. You can leave Miguel, but just set it up to make sure everything look nice because you don't need to be seeing all this, <laughs> Miguel. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I figure like, figure like, first of all, you need to let these people know what they're about to, what kind of work environment they're about to be in so they can be prepared. Like you might be, you might see some stuff. Now you don't have to, you never have to stay around. You ne are never required. Like, I feel like there needs to be like real conversations about 
the person that you're being, uh, that you're employed by, what their lifestyle is, right? But when you're witnessing somebody being abusive, then that's when you're like, oh, maybe I need to step outside of this. Like if this is just lifestyle, you know, people having sex, when you start seeing underage people, people being forced to do stuff, people are being taken advantage of while they're intoxicated, then that's when you have to be like, okay, I, got, I might have to say something. I might have to, I might have to break the code or whatever it is. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like um, Megan needs to be more responsible um, in all of it, in all of it. Like, I feel like these are just lessons that she keeps learning. Girl, this is another lesson you need to approach. And then like, I feel like that happens with people. Like after you see me do something, I don't necessarily, I didn't necessarily want you to see. Now I'm going to start being mean to you. That happens. It, it, people do that to people. I can see her talking shit to him after he saw something that she didn't want him to see. Now, now I'm being mean to you. Now I'm going to create a hostile work environment. So you don't want to be here around me because I you saw something I didn't want you to see. So I feel like, first of all, you need to pay him, period. I, I, there's no, I, I don't give a fuck if I love Megan the Stallion down. Girl, pay that man. I don't play. We don't play that anywhere. Pay the man. And then your next cameraman, you need to make them sign an NDA and let them know the type of lifestyle that you lead and like make all of those serious kind of like boundaries. Like, listen, I get down when I get drunk. I get down. You never have to stay around. If you feel like you need to stay around for my safety because I might be too drunk, then OK, stick around. But don't feel like you need to be a part of or witness anything that happens while I'm intoxicated. Like, I feel like those kind of honest, transparent conversations need to happen because people busting out, having sex in, a, in the back of a car, they're partying, they're in Ibiza. Come on now. Like, it's, we're, it's a party. 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 Okay. And so, and you the, and you the cameraman. Now, like I said, if she was like, no, you got to stay here and you going to watch this, that's a different story. But for, for me, what stuck out is her asking him, were you in the car last night? And he, him like, yeah, girl, don't tell nobody what you saw. And then her turning around and kind of being and creating a hostile work of environment. I can, I believe all of that. I believe all of it. And shout out to Megan Stan. Y'all know that's my girl. Hands on my knees, shaking ass, doing thigh shit. I, I mean, come on. That's my girl. <laughs> Post me a pig about to make me a profit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I feel like she needs to this lessons to be lessons to learn. Can you imagine the people like what's his name? The guy that's suing Puffy. He was the cameraman. So he got he got he made dupes of everything. I'm, he made duplicates of everything. The same way Puffy thought he was getting over on Cassie when she thought she was um, um, deleting the, the videos of their freak offs. And he turned around and was like, here, I got him. No, oh boy, the, the producer, he was doing the same thing you doing, making dupes. Hmm. Now you're going down. The whole little ring. It's, it's, a, it's a ring. It's not Puffy. It's Puffy and other people and other people and not just me. And there's women involved too. Shit. Women who help. When they returned to the trip, Garcia said in a lawsuit, his compensation structure changed from a monthly flat rate to a pay per task system that required him to submit invoices for each assignment. That's another thing. If you are an independent contractor, if you're an independent contractor, you need to know how much you are charging hourly like break down how much you get paid and come up with an hourly so if anything happens like this you're not stuck thinking like okay how much should i charge her yeah break your shit down hourly and what if if, if you go from being paid to being paid per task and submitting invoices okay bitch, this is how much i charge per hour this is what it is and here it goes it's nothing fine change it you want to act funny because i saw you fucking somebody in the car fine megan fine meg fine meg but if you keep it up i'm gonna I'm a sue your ass if you don't pay me for what i've done here i'm gonna sue your ass and i'm gonna tell them what i witnessed in that car that night in the visa 
So pay me my motherfucking money, hoe. And that's how probably how that shit is really, really going to go. He said he was expected to provide the same services despite the pay structure change, but alleges that he was treated differently following the trip and saw a decrease in bookings Megan hired him to do. There he is right here on the side. They show him. Garcia began to consider quitting the job because Meg's possessiveness combined with the lack of appropriate pay for the amount of time asked of him and the lack of booking and at the suit states. Garcia remained on schedule for the 2023 job the night before Rock Nation notified him that his service was no, would no longer be required by Megan, according to the lawsuit. While working for Megan, Garcia endured a barrage of relentless sexual and fat shaming comments, plunging him into prov profound um, emotional distress. What I learned throughout the years is that, especially coming from an office environment, is that there's no HR department in the entertainment business show I ain't. Garcia told NBC News in a, in a news interview. So if you don't know you're being done wrong, you really don't know how to advocate for yourself. He ain't lying. Until you start asking, maybe you start asking your peers who have representation. They have agents. They have management. They have attorneys. So I really just want to encourage people to advocate for themselves. He's, he's absolutely right. I agree with him. Because you really don't know because the environment is not structured. There's no structure. There's no structure. It's just like, fly by the seat of your pants. This is what we say. That's why you got to remember shit people say. That's why you got to record people what they say because they will say, they will tell you a lie to your face just like that. And then next week you'd be like, well, you told me this. No, I didn't tell you that. They will say, I don't remember telling you that. Well, here, let's roll it. That's why everything, that's why the motherfuckers run around recording everything. Is these motherfuckers will lie to you. And it's not an environment um, that advocates for the worker even the creative. And what's ironic is the creative, the creator, the creative is being used by the label. And then the creator starts to use people that work for them. They mis start mistreating the people that work for them. It's, it's, a, it's a whole fucking cycle and that's how it is. And there is no HR. And you do have to learn how to advocate for yourself. Because if you get too deep in this shit, you'll be like that guy suing Puffy waking up in a bed with puffy in the bed with you and women in the bed with you and you not knowing what the f happened to you because they didn't gave you something and you didn't pass out and all you all you did was come all i came here to do was dance for y'all right all i came here to do was fucking record y'all i did not come here to be a part of this shit that's like some crazy shit right there right so when to me like in the story when he says she asked him the next day, were you in the room or were you there? Or were you in the car? He was like, yeah. She was like, okay, well, don't tell nobody what you saw. And then after becoming a hustle work environment, I can see, I can see all of that happening. I can, I can pay that man. The suit states that while working for the entertainment, for the entertainer, entertainer, he was without basic insurance coverage and therefore could not get the care he needed. Well, that's your responsibility. However much you're getting paid, you need to go to the exchange and figure out, I know insurance is high and you have to have insurance, but yeah, that like all of that kind of stuff, you are independent. If you're working in the music industry in any kind of way, more than likely you're independent. You're getting a 1099 or they paying you under the table, period. So it's up to you to go make sure you have your insurance and it's not up to them. It really isn't up to them. So that was your responsibility, I feel like. But he said he grapples with anxiety and depression, physical distress, stemming from a toxic work environment. There he is in the back right here uh, behind Megan. Megan needs to pay our client what he's due, own up to her behavior, and quit this sort of sexual harassment and fat shaming conduct. Ron Zambriano, the inter attorney, said in a statement, Emilio should have never been put in the position to have to be in a vehicle with her while she had sex with another woman. It's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. It is inappropriate. Um, exposing this behavior to employees is definitely illegal. Garcia's lawsuit also outlines alleged employment and wage violations that center on his classification as an independent contractor. The uh, lawsuit alleges that Megan prohibited him from working for anyone else and was denied overtime pay and breaks. Listen, another part of that is advocating for yourself. I'm taking a break. I'm sorry. I'll set the camera up, but I need to go outside.
I need to go outside. I need to take a walk. I need to go for a walk. I'll be back in an hour. Like, no, y'all not going to be able to live this lifestyle and I'd be stuck to you like some goddamn slave. That's what he means by advocating for yourself. No, I'm not. No, if you want me to record and be on break at the same time, I'll set the camera up for y'all, but I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to whatever the hell, take a walk. I'm going for a mile walk, whatever the hell you need to do. Or if we can't take no break because we busy, 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 I'm leaving early for the night. Y'all need to advocate for yourselves. And he's right. I'm, I am a total agreement with him. Pay that man his money, Megan, and your fucking team and cut the bullshit. And when you hire somebody else, you need to let them know what your lifestyle is and what to expect and what they, what you tell them that you can leave at any time. If you're uncomfortable, if you become uncomfortable at any moment, you are, you have the ability to leave. You don't even have to tell me you're leaving. Don't ask me. Like you got to be that kind of, if you know that that is your lifestyle, you have to prepare somebody for that especially if they have never worked in the entertainment end if they have never worked in the entertainment industry bitch let them know they about to see some shit they ain't never seen before in their life let them know you may see you may never see nothing like this again so if it gets uncomfortable for you and you want to bounce you don't even have to say nothing to me just leave send me a text i'll see it when i wake up the next morning after i Finish doing everything I want to do. Girl. Garcia said in the interview, he's seeking more than six figures. The suit seeks unpaid wages as well as interest and in unpaid wages, uh, unpaid overtime and other employee benefits. And, and, and then when you, you have to, because you get caught, you really, you can really get caught up in the lifestyle stuff. And as you're working, that it gets blurred because you're having a good time. Video, videographer, right? You having a good time. It can get blurred and you can forget that, oh, I need to take a lunch break. Oh, I need to take a break. I'm actually working. So I need to take a break. Those lines get really blurred, right? You going out to dinner, they might look at that as a break. No, I'm on the clock because I got a camera right here. You need to be keeping track of your own hours. So when, if anything comes up, like at the end of the night, you really have to manage. And then when people, you have to manage your hours that you work, you got to keep all your fucking receipts because you are an independent contractor. Everything you doing while you're on the clock in those hours, all your receipts, those go on your taxes. All of that. Those are, those are a part of, it's part of your job. All your mileage, everything. Y'all know what it is. I don't have to name off all the stuff that you can claim, but you need to keep track of your hours. And that is something that you have to do. But nobody tells you that because you are so fucking the smoke and mirrors and the flashy, shiny things got get y'all. That's what gets a lot of people fucked up. And that's where the lines get blurred. And then you're like, wait, should I be here right now? Should I be recording this? Like, wait a minute. Cause this is kind of weird. Like, am I still on the clock? Okay, Megan, I'm about to go. <laughs> and she'd be like, okay, girl. Okay, girl. Okay, go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm getting out of the car. Can y'all pull over so I can get the fuck out? I'm not sitting here like this. And then you're like, do I break up the scene? Cause they're like, they getting busy, but I'm really uncomfortable right now. Like, honestly, the, the same way that is harassment. And I was telling, who was I telling that to the other day? about like showing people porn on your phone, that's sexual harassment. Like taking your phone up to somebody and then just showing them porn or showing them a naked picture or something, that's sexual harassment because that person doesn't give, didn't give you consent to show them that. You wanna see a naked person, his penis is out. Do you wanna see it? Yes, that's consent. No, do you wanna see, here, look at this. Look at these two people having sex. That's not consensual and that can be sex, sexual harassment. I had to tell my sons that the other day and about like the phone, like if you guys are watching something in your phone, do not show it to anybody without their consent because that is harassment. It is. And you got to be careful, Megan. You're going to learn your goddamn lesson. You're going to learn your goddamn lesson. All right. So let's see what else I saved here. Let me, let's, let's, y'all let me know what y'all think about Megan. You know, let me go to the blogs and see um, what they have. 
and then we can um, read some of the comments. Um, let's go to Jasmine Brown. It says, oh, Megan Thee Stallion calls sexual harassment allegations an attempt to embarrass her. Megan Thee Stallion is denying the scathing allegations made about her in the new harassment lawsuit at, at, against her Tuesday. This is an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim filed with a salacious accusations and attempt to embarrass her. Videographer Emilio Garcia accused Megan of fostering a toxic work environment. Let's see some of the, I adore Megan, but keep that same energy y'all had for Lizzo when she was sued for similar allegations. She embarrassed herself by lying on Tori and, and that lipo. Like, and then like y'all be correlating the stupidest shit. That's why I'd be like, y'all on team stupid for real. I'd be really thinking y'all stupid for real. I don't think that this is an act. I don't be thinking stuff like this is an act. I want to see the evidence he has against her. I read some odd stuff on Twitter about him. Read the court docs and the lawyer is right. Dude is only suing for alleged unpaid wages. Megan having sex with the woman had nothing to do with the lawsuit. This dude just wanted to smear her name. This is why Partisan was out there cheating on her because she was out there as well. Notice she didn't deny the allegations. Absolutely agreed. Those alleged claims has nothing to do with the lawsuit. I know that's right. Don't settle shit. Don't let anyone play with you. Not y'all in the comments playing detective, still saying she lied. The same people who would say Beyonce's hair is not long. Bye. Definitely what, what it looks like on the surface. And it and that's never ever to, to discredit or dismiss anyone's experience. But some of these people make it so difficult when they just go for a bag. Someone saw the black backlash for Lizzo and got and is actively pot, plotting and perpetuating a narrative to damage her reputation right before her sold out in weeks, uh, it, sold out in weeks, not months tour. Huh? Wonder who could be behind this. Perhaps the last person he was in contact with during his Bigfoot debacle. It's a scam he's doing for clout. Y'all need somebody else to write your captions for the right because the caption is crazy. Megan the Stallion is denying the scathing allegations made about her in a new harassment lawsuit filed against her on Tuesday. Megan the Stallion accused of sexual harassment by a cameraman who says he was forced to watch her have sex. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. That's all I have to say about it. That's how I feel about it. I believe I believe he witnessed her having sex. I, I don't believe he was forced. I believe based on him saying she asked him the next day. Like if I didn't know you were there, that means that I did not force you. Now, if, if you were like, can I leave? And she was like, no, <laughs> then that's different. But you said she didn't even know that you were there. So that kind of to me, but I feel like you should pay him. And I agree with him. Advocate for yourself. Keep a documentation of your hours. Don't let the work and the lifestyle blur lines because it is because it's a fun little like experience taking trips and stuff like that. You're having a good time. You can get that line of lifestyle and work. That work life balance gets very blurred in that particular, especially in the, the creative industry like television, film, movies, all of that, television, music, all of that those lines can get blurred because it's a party it's a fucking music video but you forget the work part you forget the business part and that's how everybody gets fucking got because everybody forgets the business side of, of all the fun so i gotta go take care of each other protect your energy let's get down in the comments peace